In this episode, we'll take a look at control flow in Elixir. Specifically, we'll look at three different control structures, if else, case statements, and conditionals. Let's get started. Here we have a module greeter with the single function greet that returns the string hello. Now let's update our function to only return hello if the language is English. First, we'll add a parameter lang to our function, and then let's add an if statement so that if our lang variable is the abbreviation for English, en, hello is returned. Let's try it out. We'll go to the console and run iex with our file greeter.exs. And if we run greeter.greet with the argument en, it returns hello. Now let's try it again, only this time we'll run it with another language like French. And nil is returned. Let's go back to our module and add an else statement to print our greeting in French if the language isn't English. Now while this will work as is, we can shorten it and collapse it to one line. Then let's go back and reload our module. And if we use en, it still returns hello. Then if we use the abbreviation for French, fr, it now returns bonjour. While this is great, what happens if we try another language? Let's try it with the abbreviation for Spanish. And bonjour is returned, which is not what we wanted. In order to add more branches of logic, let's reach for another control flow structure, the case statement. The case statement lets us match against many different values for our variable lang. We'll define our case statement with the variable we want to match against. And let's match against English, French, and Spanish. Then back in our IEX session, we'll reload the module. And let's try it out. French returns bonjour, and Spanish returns hola. Then if we try a language that we haven't defined, we get an error. No case clause matching. Let's go back to our module, and let's add an underscore to catch all other cases. In IEX, we'll reload our module, and let's try it again with a language we didn't define a clause for. And great, our catch-all message was triggered. Now, case statements are great for matching on the value of a variable, but what if we need to match against expressions that return true? For that, we can use another control flow structure, condition. Let's go back to our module, and we'll define our condition for when English is true, French, and Spanish. Now, if we want to define a final expression to catch any other conditions, we'll just use true and then add a message. Then we'll go back to IEX one last time and reload our module. And if we try our function with different languages, we still get the correct greetings. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.